This is my brother from another mother that I didn't even know I had it. My father was killed by my uncle Dimitri <coughs> over some mafia business. They kidnapped my daughter. It was different this time. It was personal. As a CIA agent, this is the first time that I can honestly say I was scared. Time is now. Where do I go from here? That's what's important. Well, I'm sure I'm gonna be the best in your calendar. I'm a professional model. I'll be waiting in my studio. Have a seat. I have to be ready. Be sharp. My brother he used to work for CIA. Then he got divorced, started drinking. Now he's trying to get back on his feet. How much for the uh, book in the window? Ten dollars. Oh, great! I'll take it. The only thing that matters is my daughter. She's everything to me. I would do anything to protect her. I would kill anybody. I would kill anybody. I was born into the Russian Mafia. I didn't have a choice. I had to protect my blood. My brother Ivan, he was involved. When I was 18, I ran to America to escape this family that I was born into Mafia. And I didn't even know that here in America, I had a brother. A lot of guys in the CIA are very patriotic. I left the Mafia to work for the CIA, to work for the government. I wanted to serve the people, protect the people that I care about. Thanks, Pops. I want to have a good relationship with everyone, especially my daughter. Now that we met, and his daughter, my niece, is in danger. It's being kidnapped by this big demand of body organs. 
there's houses full of young beautiful girls that being cut and sold body parts to Middle East there's people who would pay a lot of money for a heart kidneys or to some beautiful eyes hello everyone hi me Vanessa she's all the way from South America we're trying to make her miss September Great. This is great in September. Oh, thank you. I want Sharon to have everything. Happy birthday, Sharon. That she desires. I'm going to make sure that she achieves her goal, that she's an actress. I just pray that Rosie understands and I just want to have a good relationship with my daughter. And I'm not going to let my past stop me. Or anyone. And even my ex-wife. What do you need? I didn't come here to argue with you. I just came to give Sharon her present. Just give me the present and I'll put it with the other presents. If you don't mind, I'd like to personally give them to her. Daddy! Sarah. Hi, honey. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. I have something for you. What is it? Open it, you'll see. It's just a boat. Rosie, is everything okay? Hello, Jack. Hi, David Jr. Just came to give uh, Sharon her birthday present. Well then, why don't you come into the party? No, Jack has somewhere to be. He can't stay. Yeah, I've really got to get going. He has nothing to do. He doesn't even have a job. Actually, I've had, uh, I have a uh, business meeting to attend. Dress like that. Dad, the book is amazing. Thank you. It's the best book I could find on acting. It's uh, signed by the author. Listen, I have to go in and attend to guests. I'll see you later, Jack. Sharon, you must see the present I got for you. O-M-G. Dad, David just bought me a new car. Is this really happening? A brand new BMW. It's in the driveway. It's all yours. You're the best stepdad ever. <laughs> Sharon, wait. Yeah? Be careful. A car can be like a weapon. Dangerous. Dad. You're not even 18 years old. I just want you to be safe. I've been driving since I was like 16. I'll be fine. Fine. Jack. Your daughter is in great hands. Thanks, David. You're most welcome. There was a sense of danger that was just in the air, and never thought I'd have to go back to the Russian Mafia to ask for help. The US government didn't want any involvement. A father like me whose daughter was kidnapped by a Muslim terrorist. I have to fight for what's right. I have to fight for freedom, for humanity, for justice. Janet. Yeah. I, I was waiting for you at the parking lot. Oh, 
because he told me to park in the parking lot. Sorry, I, I got confused. Ah, no problem. Uh, the photographer is waiting for us. Okay. For my daughter. Nobody can stand in my way. They fuck with the wrong person. This is Catherine. I don't have my own place right now. Because of my divorce, it cost me what I had left. She's a beautiful woman. Any guy would kill to be with her. Bananas, eggs, bacon. This is life, Jack. She wants more than just a friendship. Every woman you ever had was a smoking hat. Women are crazy after you, Jack. I don't do that anymore. You don't want to talk about your sexual life? Catherine's a great spy. When was the last time you went out on a date? It's been a while. There's definitely some sexual tension there. The right woman for Jack. What does she look like? She's beautiful. After working for CIA and KGB for so long, you deserve a gorgeous looking woman. Thanks, Catherine. What does a retiree do these days? Taking care of single moms? Hot single moms. I drink to that. I don't do that anymore. I know life. I know how things work. Not another relationship with divorce and everything. Are you still seeing your ex-wife? Rosie moved on with her life. My daughter is my only concern. My brother was a good guy, good family man. A little bit worked too much, didn't care as much about his wife. Ex-wife. I have to admit, you love your daughter. Do you remember when we were in Afghanistan? In that mission chasing Osama Bin Laden. It was Sharon's seventh birthday. Do you remember, Jack? What? The Osama Bin Laden story. When you hijacked 747 from the president of Afghanistan, and flew back to Paris just to be at your daughter's party. I remember. And you sold that 747 to recycling. And we made a lot of money. You're so sweet. Thanks, Jack. I'm really glad you came over. I didn't know what to expect. I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. My father was in America for business. Nice. Uh, to the left. Uh, give me another pose. When he met this American nice. woman. Uh, another one? He had this child. Okay, turn around. Give one of the posts. He lived here in America. Uh, nice. All right. To the right. To the right. Okay. So, uh, hand over your head, maybe. All 
Right. Nice. Some of them would be sold into slavery. into sex slavery in the Middle East. Do you remember when we were on that beach in Iraq? Which one? We had to cross Libya to find San Jose money, and you saved an entire village of women and children. Thank you for saving my life, Jack. I did what I had to do. We got captured and that crazy terrorist was somehow ready to chop our heads off. But you came just in time and shot the terrorist right between his eyes. It's just part of the job. She loves apple juice. Would you like some apple juice? Sure, thanks. So with a couple colleagues from CAA, they asked me to help him get back to work, to get a job as a bodyguard, CA, whatever he was good at. We'll try to help him, no matter what takes. Do you mind if I pack Sharon a sandwich? It's not about the money sometimes, it's about knowing what your child wants. He carefully wrapped the book and the paper for his daughter. The grandfather wrote the card with only his good, one hand good. They grow up so fast. Can you believe that Sharon's almost 18 years old? Is she coming over to eat that? No, I'm just making the sandwich for school tomorrow. He was broke. He didn't have enough money. He lived with his father in his father's house. You're so sweet. Thanks, Jack. I'm really glad you came over. I didn't know what to expect. We just work together. Remember that. Two Americans now living in Paris. They found themselves sometimes lonely. Oh, Jack, I almost forgot. We have a new mission. No. Pay cash. And all you have to do is ask. Sharon needs me here now. My days of killing are over. Who say anything about killing? I'm retired. It's an easy job, and it's for tomorrow. Just protecting a famous actress from Bollywood. Bollywood? Yes, she's a famous star, and they pay $7,000 cash. We're missing one man. What do we have to do? The only thing that you have to do is protect him from point A to point B. And it's for tomorrow, it's a really easy job. Just ask for a job, and the job is yours. We are missing one man. Okay, I'll do it. But no surprises. Did you say you will do it? Yeah, but nobody gets <laughs> shot in the head this time, okay? Thanks, Jack. It's good to see you. All right. See you tomorrow, okay. thanks. Okay, <laughs> I will call you back with the details. Bye. Hey, Catherine, you come back to take care of my son. And if he's not here, I'll take care of you. Haunted by my past. Dad!
Daddy! Daddy! I tried running away, but it came looking for me. Daddy! No, Daddy! No! to be secure because I'm afraid of this guy, you know? I don't want him to do something to me. Okay, don't worry about it. There's some of the most beautiful women in the world live in Los Angeles. Copy. 10-4. They know how to lure these girls in. Eagle eyes. He saw a book in the window that he thought it would be appropriate. He always knew she wants to be an actress. And to kidnap them. Executive protection job, and I need the money. Biggest tooth I ever heard the big time, and all I gotta do is act naturally. My father is a veteran. Thanks, sweetie. You're welcome, honey. In Vietnam, he lost an arm. It's time to go to set. We are rolling in two minutes. He lost use of his arm fighting for a country that he loved. He got a gold medal for his bravery. Miss Rihanna, could I ask you a question? It's about my daughter. She's 17 years old and she wants to be an actress. Do you have any advice? Tell her to get a job at Mickey D's. Don't waste your time. Hello? Sure. You wouldn't believe where I'm at. I'm on set right now with a huge Bollywood star. You know the famous actress Rihanna from Bollywood? I'm on set right now, I'm doing protection for her. I talked to her about you. I'm doing security detail right now. I have to get going, I love you. From Bollywood? But I'll call you soon, okay? I'll tell you all about Okay, bye dad. I still had blood in the Russian mafia. Your dad's hot. Gross. Susan, don't hit on my dad. I had to ask my own blood for help. He was a lonely man, except a couple people from CIA that he's still in touch. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. I give you my word. Stay with you through this, okay? We think that they were from the Islamic State. But why me? We don't know yet. Maybe they're looking for a high-profile target and they targeted you. 
because they know that everyone will be watching. What? Well, it's possible that they were looking to target a high profile individual. <gasps> And with the conflict that's going on in India, it's possible that uh, the conflict over Kashmir, what? they were looking to target possibly a very famous Bollywood actress and make a statement. We're going to stay with you through this, okay? Okay. Okay. He was a lonely man. still a little bit shocked. I'm not used to being the target for a terrorist attack. Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. So, your daughter. Yes. She wants to be an actress. She's wanted to be an actress ever since she was a little girl. Well, if she really wants to be an actress, you have to know that it's all about smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors? They say action when there's no action. You're always pretending to be someone you're not and falling in love with someone you don't even know for a story that someone wrote. My daughter's always had a great imagination. She has this sense of wonder. I recently bought her the best book I could find on acting. She doesn't need any book. This is my gift for you. He's my agent in LA. He'll get her started. I think she'll really like that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. The world is dangerous. She doesn't understand the dangers that are out there. I'm used to providing for my family, but I can't right now. You look like a movie star. We've created a gorgeous daughter, Jack. She's ready to become an actress. You need to do an action movie. That would be a great idea. I, mean, I can definitely see myself on screen kicking some ass. In addition to some of the martial arts training I've already given you, I can teach you knife fighting. Yeah, I would love that. His wife hated his guts. That's a great idea. She could become the next female action hero. You know, sometimes I wish you two would still be together. Sharon. So, Dad? Yes? I submitted myself to a lot of agencies, and guess what happened? Hi, welcome to Panic Inn. Are you guys ready to order? We would like three glasses of water, two with ice, and one warm. Warm? Yes, warm water, not hot. Okay, uh, any appetizers? Uh, no. All right, no problem. Right there. The Islamic terrorists set up a fake audition. So, Dad? Yes? You know my friends Elizabeth and Susan? Of course. Well, we booked an audition for a feature film. That's great. Yeah, the only problem is they're not here in Paris. I would have to fly to Hollywood. It's just an audition, Jack. Here, sign the release form. You're going to sign this, right, Dad? Look, I already booked the flight and it's leaving tomorrow night, so I need you to sign this right now. Tomorrow night? Yes. Listen, Jack, you're not going to ruin her only opportunity to go to Hollywood. My ex-wife is driving me crazy. I need to use the restroom. His ex-wife got married. He cared so much for his daughter that he didn't care about the job or his appearance or how he looked. The emotionally his wife killed him. Alright, 
Hot water, sir. What kind of movie is it? It's called Black Casting Couch. Black Casting Couch? What kind of movie is that? I'm not comfortable sending my daughter to a city like Los Angeles by herself. Dad, when the plane lands, I will be legally 18. An adult. Look, you don't understand. But Los Angeles is full of criminals, crazy people, and scam artists. I don't want you going to Los Angeles by yourself. But Daddy... So I bought her this book on acting that I found randomly. The best book on acting by Robert DiCaprio. Maybe I can come with you. I can protect you. She doesn't want you to come to Hollywood with her. The answer is no. I'm sorry. I hope Sharon understands. I did everything I could. Believable. I hate you. They always argued, but they had one thing. A child together, a beautiful girl. They needed father. Thank you for supporting our daughter when she needed you the most. Wait, Rosie! Wait. I think it's your time to pay for son. It's only three more days. I never thought the Islamic terrorists would come to Los Angeles. kidnap my daughter and attack my country. I believe in the United States of America. I believe in freedom. Sometimes in life you don't have a choice. Yo, be careful. <laughs> I had to protect him. I would do anything for our daughter. Okay, so, get another round here, Jeff. <laughs> I 
sign. You did? But I'm going to be strict. I want you to keep your GPS active on your phones at all times. Got it? Oh my god, yes, Dad, of course. <laughs> LA is full of scumbags looking to take advantage of young, pretty girls just like you. Your, your dad's right. But be very careful. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Also, I want you to call me every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to bed. Yes, Dad, we will. <laughs> and I want you to be aware of your surroundings at all times. We will. So don't worry, we'll be safe. Can you repeat what I just told you? Yeah, I'm set to call you every morning and night to keep our GPS active and be aware of our surroundings. Here's the release. You have my permission to go. Oh my god, Dad, thank you so much. I love you. Oh my god, it's your work. <laughs> she really wants to be an actress and I want to get her something that she's going to remember. I'm so glad you signed the papers. This audition means a lot to her. I still have a bad feeling about this. You're paranoid. She needs to experience life. I'm driving her to the airport. Okay. They're rich Arabs from Saudi Arabia. Okay, very good. Ah, uh, yeah, excellent. Yeah, excellent. Fantastic. Yeah. I knew something was wrong. Fantastic. Yeah. And then it happened. Very good. And yeah, okay. The terrorists were part of a ring that was selling body parts in the black market, organs. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Hold. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of bad people in the world. They would do a lot of bad things to a lot of beautiful girls. They would care only for money. Saudi Arabia was sponsoring the terrorists. They kidnapped beautiful girls from America. The girls that they don't sell for body parts. They put on the black market as sex slaves. We will find this warehouse with people and we will find my niece. <coughs> These two men showed love and care for this young girl. This soon to be missing, kidnapped and sold into sex slavery or body organs. So are you guys excited? Yeah. So you ever been to LA, Jack? Yes. Ooh, was it for one of your CIA missions? I'm not in the CIA anymore. Why? I'm retired. Why are you retired? Was it too much pressure? My dad was the one who applied the pressure. So you still part of the KGB, Jack? No. Your dad is like a real life 007. It's just his job. My mom said it made him kind of paranoid. I'm not paranoid, just a little worried. But he did save the world once. Well, I think it's really cool that you're a spy. Were you a part of the Russian mafia? I worked undercover. So what'd you do? I stopped the Russian mafia from smuggling nuclear weapons to the Middle East. Oh yeah, Russia had a lot of nuclear weapons left over from the Cold War. Eliminated the threat. How did you eliminate the threat? Do you guys want something to drink? You guys thirsty? It's a beautiful day outside. Hey, 
You did a very bad job. And smile. All right. Change position. Beautiful. Now we're talking. And change position. All right. And smile. Nice. Change position. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Nice. Islamic terrorists. One of the best spies in the Spanish intelligence. Oh, wow. Very good. Change again. And the stepfather was trying to impress your ex husband and put him down. Are you following us, Jack? No. Are you walking your dog? I don't own a dog, David. Would you like to adopt a dog? Why are you asking him if he wants to own a dog? For company. He looks like a guy who needs a dog. Rosie, may I speak with you in private? Excuse me, David. I need to speak to Jack for a minute. Sure. You know the movie Black Casting Couch? What about it? It's not even listed on IMDb. It's not? No. And did you know the producers are from the Middle East? Yes, the producers are Persians from Iran. Iran? Listen, Jack, not everybody from the Middle East is a terrorist. I think I know better than you how much terrorism comes from the Middle East. Sharon wants to go to the USA, not the Middle East. Oh my God, you are so controlling. I just have a bad feeling about this. That's the reason for our divorce. Because of your controlling. You're gonna lose Sharon the same way you lost me. Hey, Amazing, it's so beautiful. Thanks. Where are you from? We're from Paris. Oh, French girls. We're actually Americans living in Paris. Where are you from? My name is Peter. I'm American, born here in Los Angeles. Well, I'm Susan. I'm Elizabeth. Sharon. Nice to meet you. So young and beautiful. Why do you wear that towel on your head? So the sun won't cook my brain. Is it better this way? The beautiful Sharon was excited when she saw the keys. Not knowing how bad she hurt the father. He wished he could give her the world. But he cared. He cared too much. She was too young to understand how much he cared. And he missed his little girl but not in his hands that he would protect when he took her from the hospital and brought her home and care from birth till now. This is where you live? Yeah, we rented this whole place for ourselves. It's pretty cool, huh? Wow, you must be very rich. My stepdad has a lot of money. Okay, well we better get going. In. I have to get going as well. It's really nice to meet you. You too. Okay. Hey, do you guys want to go to some Hollywood clubs tonight? Yeah, sure. Susan, you barely know this guy. He's hot. tried to bring harm to her. She means everything to me.
Hey, I have three girls around 18. They're alone here in America with no parents. Do I hear a beautiful woman? Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, welcome. Oh, you Thank look you. fantastic. Thank you, I'm so excited. Oh, you look great for April. <laughs> oh, perfect. You have a wonderful dress. Thank you. You are so nice. Thank you. Is that uh, blue or green? It's aqua. Aqua? Yeah. Welcome on set. Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. You look so beautiful. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, you're going to change it to a bikini, and then the photographer is going to come in a moment. All right? Okay. Thank Thanks. you so much. No problem. Sharon call you. Jack, go back to sleep. Something's wrong, I can feel it. Beautiful Olga from Russia. Los Angeles is so beautiful. So excited. be a great calendar. She's 18 years old. She's having fun. Give her some space. Do you have any sleeping pills? Then smoke some weed and go back to bed. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Very good. Now change. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah. Now turn around. Yeah, very good, girls. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Very good. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, very good. Yeah, hold that change. Excellent. Hey, yeah, you're doing great. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Now change again. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Keep going. Don't stop. Look at that smile. Yeah. Very good.
What did I tell you? You were supposed to call me as soon as you landed. I know, I'm sorry. Is there something wrong with your iPhone 6S Plus? Did it bend in your pocket? No, Dad, the iPhone 6S Plus doesn't bend. Keep in touch at all times with your iPhone 6S Plus. Dad. Sharon? I'm really scared. There's a strange little guy in our house. Oh my god, they yagged up Susan. What's happening? Sharon. They just took Elizabeth. This is a situation of panic. You've been trained for it. Oh my god, this is not happening. Stay calm and think fast. Did you meet anyone suspicious? Yes, I think so. At the airport? No, at the Hollywood sign. His name is Peter. Peter. Peter who? I don't know. Is he American? No, uh, Middle Eastern. Does Peter know where you live? Yes. Yes, Elizabeth fell in love with him, then she brought him here. I know you're scared. What do they look like? I think Iranian or Sicilian. Where are you? I'm in a closet. They're looking for you. You need to get out of there and find a safe place to hide. When you get there, let me know. Go! Okay, I'm here. What I'm going to tell you next is essential. All right, son. They're going to kidnap you. Clear your mind, baby. Yes. Very important for you to stay calm. They're here. I can see them. Hide the phone in the closet. They're going to take you. Sharon. I can see the street through the window. How far? Maybe 25 meters. There's a small fence. Don't go yet. Dad, they might come back. They might still be there. I think I should make a run for it. Hold on. It'll take you a couple seconds to open the window and escape. What does the lock look like? I need you to exit the closet and go under the bed. Do it now. I know you're listening. So listen closely. I don't know who you are 
or what you want. But you've made a grave error. You've kidnapped the wrong girl. It's unlikely that you'll release the girls. Now, I'm your worst nightmare. I'm gonna come to LA. You won't see me coming. I'm gonna find you, torture you, and then I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. You fuck with the wrong person. You Islamic piece of shit. Screw you. Yo, stand still, recognize my flows can kill and will when I get flies and hand bills. Hand still to my boys who dump like landfills. I'll be up in front of your grill getting your whole click to chill.